Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome to my full walkthrough with full audio commentary for Pop Tropica's Mythology Island. I'm doing this walkthrough with a full audio commentary so I can tell you what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, and it'll make it easier for you guys to find things you're looking for. If there's an item you just can't find after watching the walkthrough, check the description on the video for time codes for some of the more important items that people seem to miss a lot. Also, if this video helps you complete Mythology Island, please take a second to like it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Pop Tropical walkthroughs. All right, let's get to the island. All right, and we drop in on top of the museum, and so we're going to head to the left and go into the Museum of Olympus. It's the first thing you need to do because there's sort of a cutscene here that shows us Zeus, um, Hades, and Poseidon, and how they defeat the Titans. And each of them takes a different part of the world. And uh, they, uh, they have sort of a split. And they all think that they are all powerful. And uh, they rule different areas. So let's run to our right here. And there are going to be a bunch of statues. But we only need to pay attention to one. And it's right up here. It's Poseidon with the starfish on his face. So just grab that starfish. And you would need to look at the names of all these um, because there is a quiz later on. But I know the answers, so don't worry about it. I'll give them to you. So let's head out. And let's run to our right. And we're going to go visit the Temple of Muses. So just go past here and keep going. And we'll go to the Grove of Temples. We're just going to go into the first one, which is the Temple of Muses. And we need to pick up a reed pipe, which you guys might know as a recorder. So we'll go in here and run all the way to your right, and you can pick up the reed pipe. Now there's a bunch of statues, and you need to visit one. And the one you need to visit is the one that is carrying the reed pipe. So head up to her and click her, and you need to copy what she tells you to do. And this changes every time, so yours will not necessarily be the same as mine. Um, but turn up your sound so you know what to do, and it'll help you with the cues. And then just copy what she does, red, and then red, blue. And you have to get up to eight in a row. So uh, it does get to be a bit hard, especially if they give you a difficult pattern. They gave me an easy one. so. Uh, it made it fairly easy for me to do, but if you get a tough one, just start over and you'll eventually get it. I wish I could help you with the exact combination, but like I said, it changes every time and you'll get it eventually. So uh, almost here. So that's seven, I think. Six, seven, yep. Okay, so this is the last one. And once I get this correct, she will give me a tune that you'll need later. There. All right. And uh, play this tune for Cerberus, and he will fall asleep. So you definitely need that. Perfect. All right. So now we're going to head out. And we're going to head to our left. And we're going to go into the forest and visit the Tree of Immortality. So let's uh, get a move on. And continue to your left here. Come on, Thing Noodles. Move to your left. There we go. All right. And we'll head past Greg here with the Diary of the Wimpy Kid advertisement and we'll go past all these people we don't need to talk to them at all okay keep heading to your left and there we go the tree of immortality and we'll get past this all right now we get to become a god and of course we'd all want to become a god right so all we have to do it says is eat an apple so let's go do that all right and all we have to do is pick one that's Easy, right, guys? Well, <laughs> not so much. It might get a bit more complicated than that. So let's uh, jump over here and use the snake to bounce up like a trampoline there. And 
Then we're going to jump up on our right here and keep continuing up, up on the right. And you'll get to some mushrooms. Use those to bounce up a little higher. And you see the satire up there in the tree. So we'll just keep going here and uh, jump over here. And then on the left side, use the snake's body as a vine. I know. <laughs> That's how I feel about it, too. And uh, keep running to your right here. Don't fall off. So jump and talk to the satire. And in order for you to get the golden apple, he needs you to do something for him. And he lost his jars of honey. You have to find all 10 before time runs out. And you should be able to do this. It's, it's about 60 seconds, so don't panic. Just take your time and try and explore the entire area. And you should be able to come up with all 10 of the honey jars. Uh, if you miss it the first time, the second time you'll know where most of them are. And you'll be able to get them. Um, and you can do it as many times as you want until you get it right. So don't worry about it. Uh, you may get it on the first time. It may take you three or four times. But either way, just, you know, just relax and, uh, and take it easy. Uh, they give you plenty of time to do it, especially if you have an idea of where most of them are. So there's nine, and there's the tenth one. All right. Okay, now just uh, repeat the process and head back up. Bounce off the snake. Jump up here. Jump up again. Jump up again. Use the mushroom. Come on, use the mushrooms. There we go. And then we'll move this way and jump. And then use the lovely slimy snake to climb up. And then we'll jump across. And then we will talk to him. And he'll tell us how to get to the secret path for the apple. And it reveals a hidden branch. All right, easy enough. So we'll go over here and jump up and jump up onto the hidden branch. And we'll run out to the edge and bounce down. And there's a golden apple. So all we have to do now is eat it and we become a god in Pop Tropica, right? Uh, nope. <laughs> he's leaving. Something's wrong. Uh oh. It's Zeus and he's mad. <laughs> uh, he's mad that we picked an apple of immortality from his tree. And uh, he's going to give us immortality, though. So that's great. Um, but we have to do something for him. And if we don't, he's going to destroy Pop Tropica. And we can't have that. So he will give us this scroll here telling us exactly what he wants us to do. So just jump up and grab the scroll. And you can look at it if you want. You don't have to, but I'll show you here. So we have to find these five sacred items and return them to Zeus and he will give us immortality. So first a flower, then a golden ring, a scale, a giant pearl, and a whisker from Cerberus. All right, let's go on our mission. So head down and out of this area. We're going to leave the tree of immortality. We'll be back here in a while, but let's head out. Oops, let's go to the right here. And you're just going to want to head toward the middle, back to the staircase you came up. And there it is. Okay, and Athena will appear, and you'll be forced to go talk to her. And just select the last option. And you'll see her quite a few times through this, and she'll help you out. And so head to your left, and there's a couple things we have to do over here. So go over to the left. And we will arrive here. And so we need to head up to the aqueducts. So just jump up and jump. And you'll see her in a minute. Uh, jump over to the right here and climb the rope to the aqueducts. And we need to redirect the water flow so that we can get the flower that we need. So head all the way up to the top. You can push this bridge down here. And there's the water. So that's the source. So uh, my strategy is to get all the way to the source, but don't flip that switch yet. And then I just pretend like I'm the water. So I'm following down, following down, following down, and this needs to go down. So let's click this and we'll redirect the water flow pointing down. Okay, so we'll drop down here and run to our left. And we've already done the bridge. 
And here we are at this one. We need to redirect it down. So click it. And there we go. So we'll drop down here. And then we'll run here and we'll knock the bridge over. Uh, you have to click on the bridge to make it fall. So click there and it'll fall over. And there we go. And click this last one and it'll go down here, which is where we need it to go. So that is it. So you need to flip three switches and knock over two bridges. And once you've done that, you can, oops, uh, jump over here and jump up. Once you've done that, you can head back to the top and flip the final uh, switch, which is actually the first switch, uh, and it'll direct the water flow exactly where you want it to go, and we can get the flower. So let's go up here, jump up here, and we will change the direction of the water flow. And then we are set. Saving game. Perfect. So we'll drop down here. Look, see the water goes through here, and then we'll go along here. It goes across the bridge, and then drops down here, and it goes across the second bridge, and drops down here, and there's the flower. So go grab the flower, and you will wake up this like spider, uh, female, lion, dragon, Garuda, weird thing, and she freaks me out a little bit. So uh, don't miss out on the pomegranates. So jump up here, and this is something a lot of people miss. Uh, just head to your left here and make a big jump, and it's right over top of that weird looking thing. And here you go, free, you pick them, you keep them, pomegranates. You're going to need it for Hades. Don't miss it. <laughs> okay, so jump over to your left here and jump up to this door. Here we go. And you'll see blue, blue, green, yellow, yellow, red, green, red, blue, green, sorry. And um, that is the pattern you need to play the flute in in order to get into the Minotaur's cave. So open up your reed pipe. And there we go. So let's do blue, blue, green, yellow, yellow, red, blue, green. The pattern is always the same, so I can help you with that one. Uh, and then just head in, and we're going to go talk to the Minotaur. And you can see a big statue of him right here. And he's actually almost that big in real life. There you go. So uh, ask him if you can have the ring in his nose. And he'll tell you you uh, have to go through the labyrinth. So guess what that means? <laughs> All right, let's enter the labyrinth. And Athena will appear right away and give you a magic thread that'll show you kind of where you've been in the maze. But all you really need to do is, in the beginning part, try and head to your upper right every time. So here we are going through here, and we're going to keep heading to the right and keep along the top. And then we're going to drop down here and drop down here and then head to all the way to the bottom. And then we're going to head our way back up. Up. And over here. And jump up. And see, we're heading to the right now and staying in the upper right. Jump up here. And you'll come across a ghost. And you can click the ghost of the satire and ask him for help. And he'll give you a hint about the puzzle coming up. More than one way to read the bones. OK. So we'll head up in the platform above him. And there's a puzzle here. So 15 bones of ancient men, take back six, but still leave 10. All we have to do is spell out the word 10. So take away these three bones, and there's the T. And then take away this one to make the E, and take away those two to make the N. So T-E-N. There you go. Now we're going to head down, and we're going to want to get to the lower left of the maze. So head down here, down here, and we'll head up and oop, head up here and then down this chain and we'll go over here and oop, <laughs> we'll head to the left here we'll dead end there and keep going down and here's the scorpion and he's kind of a pain <laughs> but you'll get past him it takes me a couple of tries to jump over him but all you have to do is jump over him at the right time there we go run thing run thing run and jump up all right and uh, then just get oop Ooh, ooh, you almost got me again. So you just jump up here. All right. And then drop down and run to your right. And you are through the maze part of the labyrinth. There's just one more puzzle to get through. 
it's not really a puzzle. It's more of a frustrating whack-a-mole type of game. Um, so you have to hit the red-eyed snake three times. And you'll see her there. Um, she has these spinny red eyes. And I'm going to fast forward this because uh, it does take me a while to get through it. There, I got her once. Um, but uh, my best strategy is just to stay in one corner of it. You know, maybe the four holes in the left corner. And it's a lot better than trying to go across the whole map. And if you stick in one corner, you have a pretty good shot of getting it after a while. But it really just takes patience. And it gets a bit frustrating because you miss a lot. But there we go. That's the third time. And it opens the gate. And we're through the labyrinth. Now we just need to talk to the Minotaur. And he will give us the ring in his nose. So let's head over here and exit. And now we'll go talk to him. And you have to select all three items. I tried just to do the third one, which is usual in Pop Tropica, but this time you have to do all three. So say I've completed the labyrinth. And finally, ask him if you can have the ring. And he will take out the ring from his nose and give it to you. And I really hope he cleaned it because that is gross. So <laughs> let's head out to the right and we'll go out of here. And we are done with this area. So let's head to the right. And we're going to go over the bridge. And we're going to head through here. And we don't need to do anything here for a while. We will be back here, but we can just head right past. And now we're going to head back to the, uh, the Grove of Temples. So let's do that. And we're going to start with Poseidon because I think that his temple is the best looking. <laughs> uh, Hades' one is a little bit uh, run down. You'll see in a minute. Um, but also the river Styx is very difficult. Um, and it's funny because the first time I played it, it was more difficult. Or it was easier. And the second time I played it, it was a lot harder. So this is Hades' temple. And uh, we'll talk to that guy in a minute. But wait for this platform here to come down and jump up on it and it'll get you all the way to the top and you can go over here into Poseidon's area. So just enter here and we will run to our right and you need to give him an offering to enter his kingdom. So open your items and we have the starfish. So use the starfish and put it on the pedestal and there you go, you've been opened up into his realm and you can go in here and run to your left and i'm gonna run past everyone here and i should have talked to her there but you don't need to yet but it makes it a little bit quicker in the end but uh just dive down here in this darker area near the statue and um you don't really need to worry about the air just uh head up and stay on top here and then keep going down 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 all the way down on the right until you can't go down anymore and then head to your left here and then go here and then did you see that clam up there you're going to want to swim up to it so the best thing to do is stand right here and then time it and run across otherwise the clam will shut on you which it'll do in a second right here and uh, it keeps knocking you off so stand on the ledge and then run to it now let's uh, head into this cave here with the gnarly monster inside Okay, now this gnarly monster uh, has about five heads, and what you have to do is get close enough to it until one tries to attack you. And let's see here. Come on, there we go, and jump up and land on its head. I missed there, but as soon as you see one get still and try to jump, there we go. And you have to knock each one out there. So the best time to jump is when they freeze. Oops, I didn't see that one. So he froze, jump, and land on his head. He Come on, come on, freeze, jump, land on his head. Freeze, jump, land on his head. And there you go. So now all we need to do is grab one of the scales and let me just, come on, just click on him there. Okay, so we got the Hydra's scale and that's all we need to do here. We put them all out. 
So let's head back out. And this is where I should have uh, talked to her. She would have given me a mirror that makes it easier to get out, but that's okay. We don't have to worry about that. We'll just swim back out the way we came. Oops, <laughs> that's not the way we came. Okay, here we go. Head up here and through here. And then we'll keep going up, 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 and to the left, and up and to the left, and we're almost out. Okay. All right, now head back to the beach and talk to her because we are going to need that mirror to get through it. So just say, I can use all the help I can get. And she will give you this mirror. But first, <laughs> you have to pass this. So I know all the answers to this. <laughs> so it makes it a lot easier uh, for you to get through it. So the first one is Aries, A-R-E-S. Now, the second one is Hermes, which is H-E-R-M-E-S. And the next one is Aphrodite, which we just met. So it's A-P-H-R-O-D-I-T-E. And the next one is Artemis, which is A-R-T-E-M-I-S. I-S. <laughs> okay. And this one is Hestia. And that's the last one. H-E-S-T-I-A. And it's always in the same order. It's always the same gods. So there you go. Those are the answers to that one. And you get the touchscreen mirror. And so we will head out and just head out here and we're going to go visit Hades. So head out of the temple and run to your left here. And we're going to drop down to Hades' temple. Oops, let's go all the way down and we're going to talk to this guy here and help him out. Okay, so that's easy enough. Click on the graffiti and then just hold your mouse down button down and clear off all of the graffiti and once you've cleared one it will automatically say it'll automatically close it for you so just click on the three different areas that have graffiti so we'll clean this one a little bit more I miss a, missed a spot there there we go and finally Hades has deadly breath <laughs> okay and get a little bit more there and there we go go all right now we've cleaned it all and he is going to give us a drachma okay now let's head into hades's temple and of course you got the pomegranate from uh, the area with that uh, with the uh, aqueducts so open up your items and use the pomegranates and you'll put them there and it'll let you into hades's realm so let's go in and Oh man, this is not a fun part. So head in and uh, drop down here and you'll drop into the darkness and you just have to wait it out and you'll eventually, come on, you'll enter. There we go. So we dropped all the way to the bottom and now we need to get into the river sticks. So you need to talk to him and say that you're ready. Let's go. And this part's really hard. It may take you 20, 30 times to get through. It took me a long time. But the best strategy is to get to the front of the boat and duck down. And when that hits you, just let it hit you. And then jump over the crocodile. And then the same strategy, let it hit you. And then wait for the crocodile, jump over the crocodile, duck down, let it hit you. Wait for the crocodile, jump back over, duck down, let it hit you. Jump over the crocodile. Duck down, let it hit you. Sometimes it'll hit you twice. And uh, I got lucky there. Uh, but that's the best strategy is to do it in that order. Okay, now we're at Cerberus and it's fairly easy. All you have to do is play the notes that were given to you. So blue, green, yellow, blue, red, green. So let's do that now. Open up the reed pipe. So we go blue, green, yellow, blue, 
red, green. And puts the doggy to sleep. So now we just have to grab one of the whiskers and hopefully don't wake it up because it looks like a mean dog. <laughs> All right, and that is it for Cerberus. Now uh, we will go back to the throne room here um, and we'll do the same with Hades. But if you look here, you can't get in and uh, somebody else might be. So I wonder who that is. Well, let's go find out. So let's uh, click on the heart here. Actually, I'm sorry, click on the lightning bolt to take us to Zeus's gate. And we got to find someone who's strong. And Hercules is strong, but he's still not willing to help us. So what we're going to do is head over to the left here since we have all five items. Let's go be immortal first, right, guys? I mean, Zeus promised us if we got him all five items. So here we go. And there's Athena. And she says, oh, I see you the five objects. But there's a problem. I don't think you're going to get to be immortal. <laughs> so... Um, Let's uh, let's take a closer look at the clues. So let's put them all together. So, um, so there we go. Put it there. And no, no, no. This goes here. We go. Whoever wields the five sacred objects will rule all of Pop Tropica. That means Think Noodles rules all of Pop Tropica, right, guys? Because I have all five sacred sacred objects. We got them all, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, Zeus took him away. Wait, that means... Oh, no. We can't let that happen, can we? And yeah, what about my mortality? I need to be immortal. Ah, figures. He wants to rule all of Pop Tropica and his brothers. Uh-oh. So we have until midnight. All right. Well, <sighs> click... But he won't help because she wants us to get Hercules' help to get into uh, the throne rooms. So let's go to the right and see if Hercules will help us now that Zeus has betrayed us. He's kind of a selfish guy, but you never know. So let's, let's go find out. Head into Herc's hero hut. All right, and we'll go talk to him and just click here um, about the mirror. And he will agree to come with you. All right. Thank you, Hercules. That's everything we need. So let's uh, head to Hades first. And he will move this little pebble, which is a gigantic boulder that we couldn't move. And there we go. We can go into Hades' throne room. And we need his help to defeat Zeus. All right. Let's enter the throne room. Okay, and then just head over to the right, and we can talk to Hades. <laughs> head over to the right, Thing Noodles. Come on. There you go. Okay, and he's very big. Um, and you have to ask them most of the questions so that you can get the item. Um, Hades is going to give you his crown. So let's see. Mm-hmm. And finally, can you stop him? And he'll say no, but you can. <laughs> so uh, we will uh, take his crown, which is a really cool crown. I love seeing that costume item. So now that we have gotten the crown from him, we can leave his throne room. We don't need him anymore. And talk to Hercules here, and he'll ask you where to go to next. And he'll bring up the mirror, so we'll go over to Poseidon's. And Hercules will break through this. All right, thank you very much. And apparently he can breathe underwater because he'll just wait here the whole time <laughs> and uh, not have to breathe any oxygen, I guess. So let's uh, go through the door here. And there we are. We can talk to Poseidon. And it's the same deal. Just select all the items until he gives you his trident. All right, and now you have the trident and the crown. So we'll head out of here. And we just need Hercules for one more thing. So we'll swim up here and talk to him one last time. And we will click on the lightning bolt 
to go to Zeus's gate, which you remember is locked. But Hercules has better ideas. And I love this joke here he gives. Uh, watch and learn grasshopper. And if you see, there's a grasshopper right below him. So I, I really love that. So let's uh, enter the gates here. And Hercules will come with you because he wants to help, right? And ooh, that is a scary looking snake. Eek. Oh, thanks, Hercules. What a great guy. Oh, no. Uh-oh, it's Medusa. Guess what's going to happen to poor old Hercules? Oh, great. Now you can't even help us. But as vain as he is, <laughs> he says, ah, don't worry about it. I wanted a statue on Mount Olympus anyway. Oh, boy, Hercules. Okay, so uh, head over here and... We have that one drachma, which is perfect. Talk to him, and uh, we just need to give him the drachma. So open up your inventory. Oop, oop, there it is, and click use, and he will give you a bag of wind. <laughs> and uh, all you need to do is use that, and we can float up. There we go. Up, 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 there. And now we just jump to our left here, jump to the right, and jump onto the statue here. And make our way up the lightning bolt, jump up a little higher, jump up here, and keep making your way to the top. We're almost done here, guys. So climb up to the top of Mount Olympus, and it'll get dark because it's almost midnight, right? So jump up here, and uh, you're just going to want to run to your right, and you need to light up the Zeus statues. So there are two here, and then on this side, there are two more right there. And right there, and once you've lit up the four Zeus statues, the real Zeus will appear and uh, get a little bit mad that you're on Mount Olympus. <laughs> and he wants to fight. <laughs> so uh, you'll get to put on the crown and the trident, and you'll grow. And uh, I got some, uh, I got a little bit younger. <laughs> got some brown hair here. Um, so, uh, what you need to do is float around and just click your mouse as many times as you can and keep hitting Zeus. And now there are a few things. You see the cloud that appeared right there? Just get near it, and the clouds are your life. So what you need to do is collect as many clouds as you can uh, if your clouds start to disappear. You want to keep them up. And so he has a few stages. Uh, so what you want to do is when he's in this stage, just hit him, hit him, hit him, and he'll blow you with wind. Not a big deal. Um, but anytime he appears transparent, stay away from him because he'll throw these, um, power balls at you, I guess. And so just collect, uh, clouds when he's in that state powering up. And once he's done shooting that at you, you can grab a few more clouds and hit him a few more times and he'll blow wind at you and he'll now see that move right there. Uh, when he becomes transparent and he tries to hit you. Uh, it's a really powerful move. It knocks off about five clouds, so it's a good way to die. Uh, the, this thing doesn't do much to you, and uh, when he shoots lightning bolts at you, not a big deal. Just hit him as many times as you can uh, until he turns transparent here, and then stay away, because if he hits you with that dive, uh, you're very likely to die. So let him power up, and while he's powering up, you can't hit him anyway, so just go and collect clouds, and let the power balls pass you and then hit him again and again hit him a few times more and he's going transparent so dodge the attack there we go and uh just wait for him to power up his power balls again and once he shoots those he's vulnerable there we go and there he is he's vulnerable so let's hit him a few more times and oh oh watch out for that and he's almost done uh one more round of these and there we go and should be able to get them now and there you go oh oh watch out oh, so close <laughs> one more round guys sorry about that i should have gotten him that time um but almost there so let him shoot off his balls here and finally 
There we go. Okay, he gives up. He gives us our items back, and he promises to be good. There we go. There we go. Four and five. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> we've defeated Zeus. And there's Athena. She's told us we've saved Pop Tropica. And that uh, he he's, uh, he's under control now. So... Uh, he rules the heavens, and she gives us a token of her gratitude, which is the medal. Congratulations. That's the end of Mythology Island. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please take a second to like it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Pop Tropica walkthroughs. I'll see you guys again soon, and thanks for watching.